Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then if you would like to give me a like or a subscribe, that would be great. Today I'm going to just play with some drugstore makeup, just do all drugstore makeup. I already have my brows on. I do have this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in medium brown on and I have the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Brow Setter on. I've already got all my skincare on. I've got my sunscreen on. My sunscreen that I have been absolutely loving is the CeraVe Hydrating Tinted Sunscreen. It just gives me a little bit of color and as you can see it gives me a little bit of hydration and that's been setting in for a minute and we're gonna go in with primer. This primer I haven't used often. I need to use it more to see if it actually does anything. This is the Ulta Youthful Glow Primer Serum with hyaluronic acid, acai, and blueberry fruit extracts. It's just got this little dropper. You push this button and it's supposed to suck up some of the product. Okay. Hello, can you pick up more product than that? Thank you. And I'm just gonna put that all over. What I've been doing lately is I've been going in with my eyes first. That way it's done and out of the way. I don't have a drugstore eye base. I stick with my MAC Paint Pot. This isn't drugstore, but this is what I use every day. As you can see, I've got a nice Nice little dent in this pot, and um, that's what I'm going to use today, okay? Get over it. So now that that's done, I am going to go in with the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today, and that's just the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. And I have this in Cream and Sugar. There's this little coppery color and then this lighter color. And well, you can see what the colors are. But yeah, this will be a cute little palette to wear today. I'm going to go in with my Sigma E35. And I'm going to dip into this cream color here. And I'm just going to go in the crease. And above. I actually need to use probably a little bit of this darker brown mixed in with that lighter. Yeah, there we go. There's something. I'm just barely tapping into that brown and then tapping in several times with this light color so it mixes and makes the color that I want. All right, now that we got that color laid down, I'm gonna go all over the lid with this color here, and I'm just gonna take that on my finger. Then on the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E46 shader brush. I'm gonna go in with this lightest shimmer. Next, I'm gonna go in with my concealer and the drugstore concealer I'm using is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I have it in light sand. It's putting a little bitty dot. I don't know why I need to say it like that. Putting a little bitty dot. Be an adult, Melissa. Yeah, see that concealer looks nice pressed in with my finger. The foundation I'm putting on today is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. And I will take one puff of that directly onto my sponge. And 
And then I'll take another like half of a pump on my sponge and place that mostly on my cheeks. And this stuff is so pretty. I've been wearing it every day. So I'm gonna powder my face. I have been powdering just the perimeter of my face because the foundations I like to use are dewy. And if I don't powder the perimeters of my face where I put my bronzer and stuff, then I'm going to end up getting hard pan in my bronzer and I don't want that. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush into this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And this is just, this is in transparent. And I don't take, I don't take a lot. But I wasn't, I wasn't powdering there for a while at all. And I started noticing in my Fenty bronzer, I was starting to get a little heart pan. And I was like, ooh, yeah, probably ought to powder so that doesn't happen. After my perimeter is powdered, I'm going to go in with, I'm going in with this little palette because I haven't touched it in a while and the products in here weren't bad and that's this little Ulta palette that has the bronzer these blushes and this highlight you have a matte mauve blush a shimmer peach pink blush a matte bronzer and a champagne highlighter I do have another highlighter I want to use today so I'm not going to use the highlighter in here but the highlighter in here is really pretty too it, it is I it's nice. I'm going to see. It's really pretty. So I'm going to take a small, this is actually a blush brush, but I like to use it for my bronzer because I like a more targeted application instead of a big fluffy brush, which is what I used to use. And this is just a Sonia Kashuk blush brush. If you want to check out some Ulta products, their bronzer. I mean, this this just says matte bronzer. I'm guessing you can just get matte bronzer, you know, an actual full size of it along their Ulta beauty wall in the store. Along the jawline. And then once I've got that done, I will go back in with my sponge and press along those edges. Now the blush in the palette, I'm gonna do a mixture of the mauve and the shimmer peach pink. And I'm doing about three taps in each color. What's left, just kind of run it across my nose and on the forehead. Then what I've been loving to do, what I've been doing that I love is how I should have said it, is I like to take a cream blush over top of my powder blush. And the cream blush I'm gonna put on top of this is the Believe Beauty, which you get at the Dollar General. And this is in Doll Face. What I'll do is I'll apply it with my finger. And then I'll just take a stipple brush. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. The way I've been applying my highlighter is with a more denser brush. Um, I've been using this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush for my highlight. And I'll just dip it in there a few times and I'll stipple it on.
so nice. And I've been going more down here, almost really close to my nose with my highlight too, depending on the highlight. If it's like this and it's more glowy, I will apply it closer to my nose. But if it's something real, like an Ofra highlight or a benefit like cookie highlight, I will keep that more up this way. And of course, I will also put some on my forehead. And then I'm going to finish up my eyes because I never finish those up. I'm just doing everything all wrong today. I'm going to take this brown and I'm going to use that as a liner. For eyeliner in my waterline, I have two different ones. I have this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner, and this is in, what's it actually called, Screamin'. I love this little yellow, but I'm not gonna use that one today because I didn't know exactly where I was gonna go with my eyes, so I just went ahead and grabbed two. I'm gonna use this NYX Metallic Eyeliner, and this is in Copper. Why am I showing you the cap? It's in Copper. So for mascara, I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. And this is the BFF Mascara. I should have said it was the BFF Mascara. And this is in Brownie Points. This reminds me a lot of my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Volumizing Mascara, the wand and everything. Not so much the formula, but the wand. And I'm gonna do this off camera because no one wants to watch somebody do their lashes for five years. See? It's pretty, I like it. Well, this is a look. I'm going to have to wait for that mascara mark to dry <laughs> so that I can brush it off. So while I'm waiting for that humongous flipping mascara mark to dry, I'm going to go back in with that lightest shimmer in my e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to finish up my inner corners. Eyes are done, and let's flick that off of our face. Last but not least is a step that I usually do quite a bit sooner in my routine, but this is the Milani Fruit Fetish Mango Coconut Scented Setting Spray, and the this is the Make It Last. I love the Make It Last Milani spray. This is the only one I really buy anymore because it just works so well for me. And I just spray the perimeter of my face with that. And then when it's almost dry, I'll go back in with my sponge. Get off my forehead hair. I'm trying to slick it back as much as I can. I'm trying to make myself look, ooh. I'm just trying to not make my giant forehead look more giant than what it already is. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this NYX Bear With Me Butter Gloss right over that freaking burn that won't go away. I had to say something about it. I know you guys can see it from space, so I might as well just bring it up now. So that's everything on my face. I really love the look today. It's very, it's very something. It's cute. <laughs> I like it. It's cute. That's everything today. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.